Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to yet another Ninjago Season 10 speculation video here on the channel. So Season 10 has not been officially confirmed. We will be seeing more of whatever comes next after Season 9 during Comic-Con this weekend, which I will be covering a lot of the news from Comic-Con, so be sure to stay tuned because you don't really want to be missing that, as videos might be coming at a more frequent pace depending on how I'm feeling. Of course, this video here will contain spoilers for Ninjago Season 9, so if you have not yet seen anything from Ninjago Hunted, specifically the last episode, it may be in your best interest to, uh, to click off this video now and go watch one of my other videos where I discuss uh, Season 9 or another Season 10 video. I think there's a few of them up right now. But yeah, going into what happened during the season finale, I of course have not yet seen the episodes as I am waiting until uh, a United States release to both watch and review them, but I did uh, get caught up on everything that actually ended up going down, and it sounds pretty insane. Um, so apparently what happens is uh, Garmadon either loses his powers or they're depleted somehow. I can't really recall uh, which one. I should really be writing a script uh, <laughs> and uh, write down actual notes, but whatever. But uh, he says something along the lines of, my powers were the only thing keeping them at bay. Which, you know, I, I could be entirely wrong about this, but uh, I'm just saying, it, it, sounds, it sounds to me like the Oni are coming very soon. So, uh, apparently th there was an Oni that was shown off. I guess Mistake is an Oni for whatever reason, uh, so that's cool. I might be doing a video on that, but I feel like since the reveal already happened, I guess what I'll say is... Uh, why is Mistake already, you know, why, why is she important all of a sudden, and why wasn't she important prior? But uh, we'll get into that in a different video. But for now, though, uh, yeah, we did see an Oni, so we know that Oni are out there, and we know that they are coming, as Grumbadon basically foreshadowed their arrival. So what I think could end up happening is Season 10's main villains could, in fact, be the Oni. There's probably going to be an Oni leader or something like that, that basically is in charge of the army, and like I predicted in another video, we might be seeing a full-on Oni invasion uh, in Ninjago City, so that would be pretty interesting to see. Of course, why they invade the city will be uh, up in the air, but my best guess is that they're after Garmadon. I did see a photo of what the Oni look like, and they look strikingly similar to Lord Garmadon, especially in the body design. So is Garmadon part... well, we know he's part Oni, but is he a full, fully-fledged Oni, um, and does he even have any of his uh, dragon left in him, because we do know that descendants of the first Minjutsu Master are half Oni and half dragon. Which that could be another reason why the Oni are invading Ninjago, is that uh, they are after Lloyd. Which of course, Lloyd being a descendant of the first Minjutsu Master, is half Oni, or not half Oni, but at least part Oni, and part dragon as well. So again, we do have a few reasons as to why the Oni will be looking to invade Ninjago, and they'll, you know, they're probably after Garmadon, or maybe Lloyd's powers, something like that, but we'll get more into that, of course, when Season 10 eventually does start airing, and when we get a few little hints. Um, I was trying to make a connection as to what uh, the Oni uh, backstory could be, and whether or not they have any connection uh, to that picture that was shown off a few days ago. Um, we'll be finding out more about this at Comic-Con, but I don't see a, a similarity between the Oni and this image. I mean, there's dragons there, and we know that Oni and dragons have been fighting for centuries, but I don't think that this picture directly relates back to any uh, Oni specifically. I think that was more for a Jay and Nia thing, while the Oni are going to be their own separate thing in Season 10. Maybe we'll have two stories again similar to uh, the uh, whole First Realm and the Ninjago situation that we had during Ninjago Hunted, or maybe the two stories will end up clashing somehow and basically become the same story. Uh, we really can't say much until we actually do find out more. Hopefully at Comic-Con there will be more shown off, but for right now I think it's safe to say that the Oni will be the primary antagonist during Season 10, or maybe at some point during Ninjago's future run. So with all that being said, that'll just about do it for this video here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to give this video a thumbs up rating. And as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. It really does mean a lot to me. Remember that the comment section is yours for any discussions you want to have regarding this topic, or if you just had a general comment, that's fine too. Thank you guys so very much for watching once again. My name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.